All right, real quick video. We're checking out the Ubuntu 19.10. Um, what was that thing called? <laughs> I forgot the name. Irma or something. Emu. No. Urn. Emu. Irma. I don't know. Anyway, it'll be in the title. So there's probably nothing changed. It's still GNOME. Got all the same, probably the great software. It looks like it has the same wallpaper and everything. But it's the 1910. And you can download it now. Of course, this is just the uh, development. Let's see. Let's go to the system settings so we can see what it says there. It details the development branch. There it is. Oh, I, I still can't even pronounce that. I don't know how, what it's, it's probably something totally different than what I'm going to pronounce it as anyway. So there's the name. So, <laughs> uh, and of course this is the development branch, 1910. And there's your system settings, backgrounds, probably has the same backgrounds. Nothing's changed really yet. There's the dock uh, position and size and all that notifications there's search reason privacy applications and all that good stuff so it all looks like Ubuntu and it looks pretty good for a, a gnome and there's your file browser of course it still has the Amazon link there's the Ubuntu software and let's see what else it has there's your calculator let's see how quick it is there's that game I like to play sometimes when I'm bored. But well, it can't open two things at once. And let's see, there's cheese, got Firefox cores, G port, and all that. Uh live patch, not sure what this is. And let's see what else we got. Start this creator, to-do list, there's utilities, transmission shot well, simple scan, software and update, videos, system monitor. And let's see what it's using. 1.5. There's your calculator. Let's see what's that other thing? I don't think it opened yet. And let's see what else we can open. Uh, it's got LibreOffice, calculator, calendar. Okay, system settings and uh, power. It's got mimes. So. There it is, and you can't click anywhere to get that. You gotta to come all the way back down there and click that. So there it is, and you notice the little buttons over to the right. I like that. Game looks real good. There's that file browser. I don't think that other thing opened up. What was it called? Live. I don't know what that is. Live patch. Let's try to open it again. No, nothing yet. So there it is, all works really good. Let's see what, if we can try that one more time. I wanted to see what that live patch is. Oh, that's a software and update. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see, live patch helps you keep your system secure by applying security updates that uh, don't require restore. Okay, never seen that before. And uh, it all, you know, works. And you could probably use this thing and install it and use it, but I wouldn't recommend it because it's development. And uh, I don't know how the uh, software repo is going to be working or not, you know. So you probably have problems there. But there it is. It's all GNOME. And uh, it's got some kind of funny character uh, name to it. Uh, what was that? Some kind of uh, one of those uh, weasels or something. That's what it is. So anyway, I guess I want to wrap this up here. Just wanted to make a quick video checking out the 1910 Ubuntu. And there's really not much more to look at. So I guess I want to wrap this one up here. <laughs> All right, I'm out.